Hi there, this is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist with the National Weather Service. This is a mountain weather briefing for use of snow safety planning in the mountain community in general. Today is Wednesday, February 26, 2014, and we've got a couple of storms moving in. What we're looking at is the winds at 11,500 feet. And if we see our area right here is, is Utah, it's the coast. We see a big high pressure over us on Wednesday, and this is why we have such nice weather today due to this high pressure. This weather feature right here with, with the warmer colors indicates more energy in the jet. And this area right here is going to rotate and move right into Utah starting late Thursday and into Friday, and that's going to bring the first part of this storm. Then this section here is going to rotate and come down into Utah and swing up here a little bit from the south-southwest and bring a second pulse to this storm. So let's take a look at what that's going to bring. When we look at the northern Wasatch, I've broken this down into two parts. The Thursday storm, and then we're going to have a break, and then the weekend storm, which is actually Friday. Uh, but for the purposes here, we'll just break this into two parts. So the first part on Thursday is going to see three to six inches of snow with water content of 0.4 to 0.7 inches it's going to start late Thursday afternoon and then go into late Thursday night. On the weekend storm, it's going to start Friday evening and then it's going to end Sunday evening. We're going to see 10 to 80, 18 inches with this part of snow with a 1.1 inch and to 1.9 inches of water. So with this storm, we could have up to two feet of snow at the most favored aspects and elevations with water up to about two and a half inches of water. So a very good storm. When we look at the central and southern Wasatch, four to seven inches of snow on the earlier parts on Thursday with water of 0.5 to 0.8. It's going to start Thursday afternoon and late Thursday. And then the second part is going to start Friday evening and Sunday afternoon with six to 12 inches of snow, 0.6 to 1.3 of water. So we're looking about 18 inches of snow at the most favored with water content just over two inches. When we look at the UNS, 4 to 8 inches of snow to start on Thursday, 0.5 to 0.8 of water. Storm begins late Thursday morning, ends late Thursday evening, and then the second part of this is going to start Friday afternoon and early Sunday with 5 to 10 inches of snow and 0.5 to 1 inch of water. So we're looking about 18 inches of snow and 1.8 inches of water in the western UNS. When we look at this a little closer, what we see is the greatest snow intensity in the northern Wasatch is going to occur around Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, with rates of two inches per hour. When the storm starts, it's going to be at 7,500, and then as it gets colder, it's going to drop down to 4,500, and then the snow density trends are going to be decreasing as this gets colder. It's going to oscillate a little bit with regard to the density, but that's the overall trend. When you look at the winds for this, the first thing that jumps out at us is about Early, early Saturday morning, we're going to see wind gusts of 80 miles an hour out of the west, southwest, and southwest. And then that's going to continue above 70 miles an hour all the way through noon on Saturday. So very high winds during that time out of the west, southwest, and southwest. When we look at the central Wasatch, the greatest snow intensity is going to occur on Friday night with 2 inches per hour. The snow level at onset is 8,000, dropping down to 4,500. And again, we're going to see decreasing trends kind of off and on as that's as the two different systems blow through but we see at Mount Baldy at 11,061 feet we're gonna see gusts of 80 right around midnight and we can see it's gonna continue above 70 all the way through noon on Saturday when we look at the UN mountains Friday evening is the greatest snow intensity of two inches per hour 8,000 feet to start dropping down to 4,500 and again we'll see decreasing trends and when we look at the, uh, the winds for Windy Peak at 10,662 feet, we see just a bit above 80 mile an hour gusts about that same time, very early Saturday morning. And then it's going to see a little bit of a drop, and then it'll pick up a little bit more about noon, and that'll last all the way through the, the afternoon hours. So there you have it. Here are the other options if you want to obtain more information from the National Weather Service on social media. You can find us on Facebook, on Twitter. You can send us an email, or I would highly advise you look at the Utah Avalanche Center. They're located here in our office. There's their link. They do a great job. I would take a look at that. This is Brian McInerney, the hydrologist with the National Weather Service, and I do appreciate you taking the time to listen to this.